Africa's top 10 most promising business ideas and possibilities for 2022. Africa is the world's second largest continent after Asia, accounting for approximately one-fifth of the planet's total land surface area. The continent is bordered by the Atlantic Ocean on its western and northern borders, and by the Mediterranean Sea on its eastern and western borders. Its southern border is formed by the mingling waters of the Atlantic and Indian Seas on its western and northern borders. It is estimated that the overall land area of Africa is around 11,724,000 square miles. Greece is claimed to have named the continent Libya, while the Romans are said to have named it Africa, possibly derived from the Latin Africa, sunny, or the Greek Afrike, without cold, which both refer to the continent. Africa has an immense richness of mineral resources, including some of the world's largest stocks of fossil fuels, metallic ores, jewels, and precious metals, as well as some of the world's most valuable gemstones and precious metals. This richness is matched by a wide diversity of biological resources, which include the very lush equatorial rainforests of Central Africa and the world-renowned wildlife populations of the continent's eastern and southern regions, among other things. Despite the fact that agriculture continues to dominate the economies of many African countries, the exploitation of natural resources has emerged as the most major economic activity in the continent over the 20th century. Africa is currently considered to be one of the most promising investment destinations in the world. For individuals with a long-term perspective, there are several business ideas and investment opportunities in Africa, and we at Think Rich Media are pleased to present an outstanding investment opportunity in Africa for those with a long-term perspective. Welcome to Think Rich Media, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business and personal development content to inform, motivate, and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe entrepreneurship rather than global pity is the key to Africa's growth and development. So if you're African and you aren't subscribed yet you are missing out. Why Africa? Is a question that is frequently asked. However, the most pertinent inquiry should be why not Africa? 10. The Green Revolution The demand for green and environmentally friendly products and services is increasing at an alarming rate around the world. Climate change poses a significant threat to the natural environment, and as a result, any solution that preserves the natural environment while reducing waste and pollution while encouraging reuse and recycling has become a tremendous business opportunity. Several African entrepreneurs and businesses are already capitalizing on this potential and enjoying tremendous success as a result. Solrables, a footwear firm founded by Bethlehem Alemu in Ethiopia, has become the world's first totally eco-friendly footwear brand. Made from recycled waste material, this enormously successful business manufactures and sells its footwear products to customers throughout North America, Europe, and even Japan. Then there's Thado Kaglanai, the founder of Repurpose School Bags, a company that creates environmentally friendly bags out of upcycled plastic shopping bags. Another example would be the Tanzanian entrepreneur Patrick Ngawi, who has developed a multi-million dollar firm only on the use of solar energy. In addition, the production of biogas from organic waste is becoming increasingly popular in Africa. Nine, financial services. Household income in Africa is increasing, which is leading to an increase in demand for financial services such as banking, insurance, mobile payments, and loans and credit across the region. As a result of these demographic trends, as well as the expansion of digital and mobile access, the prospect of mass industrialization, and the narrowing of the infrastructure gap 
businesses in the United States and Africa stand to benefit from increased investment and new trade opportunities in a variety of high potential sectors. As a result, financial technology, fintech, is ready for investment in the United States. Already, there are more than 180 million active mobile money accounts in Africa, accounting for more than half of the worldwide total and growing at a rate five times faster than in any other region. Eight, healthcare-related services. By 2030, it is predicted that Africa's population would account for one-fifth of the world's total population. Increased demand will result in increased demand for healthcare infrastructure, healthcare services, as well as personal healthcare items. With rising internet access and mobile use across the continent, there is a growing demand for traditional brick-and-mortar centers of care. Telemedicine and digital health, on the other hand, are showing promise. Seven, Information and Communications Technology, ICT. The expansion of internet connectivity and the increasing acceptance of technology throughout Africa have resulted in a digital boom. In 2018, there were over 456 million unique mobile customers in Sub-Saharan Africa, about 4-4% of the region's population, up from 20% in 2015 according to the International Telecommunication Union. And as internet connectivity continues to grow, so will the need for services in a variety of industries, including e-commerce, education, financial technology, digital health, entertainment, cybersecurity, data analytics, and other fields of endeavor. Six, telehealth and telemedicine. When the COVID-19 epidemic broke out, it demonstrated just how frail Africa's healthcare systems, according to the World Health Organization, despite the fact that Africa only accounts for around 16% of the world's population, the continent bears 23% of the worldwide illness burden. Even worse, the prevalence of diseases such as diabetes, cancer, and cardiovascular disease is increasing. Africa is not just afflicted by a lack of adequate hospitals and healthcare infrastructure. Brain drain, the exodus of thousands of highly educated medical professionals from Africa to countries such as the United States, Canada, Europe, and the Middle East is a much more serious problem than the influx of medical professionals. As a result, there is only roughly one doctor for every 5,000 people in sub-Saharan Africa, according to the World Health Organization, compared to the global average of six. This means that Africa must make the most of its scarce healthcare resources to the greatest extent possible. Five, infrastructure. Africa is witnessing fast urbanization as a result of its increasing population. By 2025, there will be 100 cities with more than 1 million residents compared to Latin America, which is anticipated to have only half as many densely populated cities by the same year as a result of the increased need for infrastructure. Investment opportunities exist in telecommunications, electricity, water and sanitation, as well as transportation. Four, challenger banks. Everyone's attention was drawn to the $200 million acquisition of Paystack, a Nigerian startup that processes payments for businesses, last year, even in the midst of the COVID-19 lockdowns. As a result of decades of dominance by traditional brick-and-mortar banks, a new generation of young and inventive entrepreneurs is using technology in innovative ways to challenge and transform the way financial services are delivered in Africa. The continent's young population, increased internet and smartphone use, and a substantial governmental push in many countries to improve financial inclusion and cashless payments are the most significant reasons driving the rise of challenger banks and fintechs in Africa. Three. Transportation in urban areas. Africans are increasingly settling in cities and metropolitan areas. 
Africa is currently the world's fastest urbanizing region, and it is estimated that up to 1 billion people could live in urban areas across the continent by 2050. The African continent will be home to 17 cities, with more than 5 million inhabitants by 2030, as well as 90 cities with a population of at least 1 million inhabitants. Furthermore, the United Nations predicts that by 2050, there will be a total of 40 megacities on the continent. While large cities offer great economic prospects, they also present extremely difficult logistical obstacles when it comes to identifying people and delivering goods and services to their destinations. The absence of a formal address system in many urban areas across the continent is a good example of this. Doing business in various parts of Africa can be quite frustrating if you don't have precise and confirmed address information. Identity verification, delivery of customer orders, and tracking of location data are all difficult tasks for e-commerce startups, banks, utility companies, and a variety of other local businesses to complete successfully. Interestingly, one Kenyan startup has risen to the occasion and taken on the task. OK Hi, which was founded by a former Google employee, uses a combination of GPS technology, photographs, and phone location data to identify difficult-to-reach addresses. Since launching its service, OK Hi has validated more than 300,000 addresses and has successfully received $1.5 million in funding from investors in order to expand its service into other countries. Two, cybersecurity and data storage. Every year, African businesses suffer a total loss of more than $3.5 billion as a result of cyber attacks and data breaches, given the potential harms and costs that can result from cybercrime. Cybersecurity is quickly becoming one of the most important developing business possibilities in Africa. A wide range of individuals and organizations of all sizes are being targeted in this campaign. In addition to simple email scams, large-scale theft of customer information, fraud, ransomware, espionage, disruption of critical infrastructure, and other malicious activities are all possible in today's world. Every day, new threats emerge to put us all in danger. It is estimated that up to 96% of cybersecurity incidents in Africa go unreported or unresolved, indicating that cyber threats on the continent are likely to be much worse than official statistics indicate. More worryingly, Africa does not have enough specialists to protect itself against the growing threats it faces. Currently, there is a shortage of approximately 100,000 trained cybersecurity personnel across the continent. A surprising number of entrepreneurs across the continent are rising to the occasion and taking on the task. Africa's data center market is expected to reach $3 billion by 2025, according to industry analysts, with a compound annual growth rate of 12% predicted to occur. Food goods with a distinctive brand name. Due to the fact that there are over a billion mouths to feed in Africa, food is one of the most lucrative business opportunities. As a matter of fact, according to the United Nations, agribusiness on the continent could be worth $1 trillion by 2030. In many parts of Africa, however, there is something a little strange about the way food is sold. During the harvest season, the majority of food products are plentiful, fresh, and inexpensive. Furthermore, the glut and oversupply in the market frequently result in a great deal of waste. However, on the shelves of many local supermarkets and international retailers in Africa's urban areas, something quite different is taking place. The United States, Europe, the Middle East, Asia, and South America all have a plethora of branded food products that are imported from other parts of the world. The question is, why does a continent that produces large amounts of food continue to spend more than $35 billion per year on importing food that is packaged in cans or bags, bottles, or other forms? In spite of the fact that there are several possible explanations, one thing is clear. Africa's agribusiness value chain is overly focused on production. Our farmers are constantly striving to produce more and more food. 
Opportunities to add value and increase profit margins by processing, packaging, branding, and marketing locally grown foods are being overlooked as a result. As a result, the vast majority of Africa's food products are traded as commodities. Africa has great opportunity and investing in these ideas are the best thing an investor could do. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Share our video with friends and family. Give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to our community for more enriching information. Help our channel grow.